All right guys, what's up? It's Kyle and today we're gonna to be continuing on from the video where I started doing the Viking style helmet and we're going to do part two now where we're gonna to start to put it all together. So in the first video, we got everything kind of cut out and shaped roughly, um, but nothing was riveted together. So we're gonna to start to rivet things together. Uh, to rivet it together, we're just gonna use some common nails. Uh, I'm gonna use a blowtorch to kind of soften them so that they don't look so factory. Uh, built and I'm going to talk a little more throughout this video too as my process is going along So I'm going to change up the video format slightly just so that you're not just watching it happen. You're kind of hearing uh, What I'm doing as well. So on top of the getting it all put together We're also going to work on the ocular piece the mask that goes on the front of the helmet um, We're going to start doing some decorative hammer work on that uh, and kind of get the general shape so that it fits the headband sorted out so uh, that said, I'm not going to bore you uh, too much longer. I'm just going to get right into it. So if you like this kind of thing, please uh, give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Um, I will be doing more on this uh, and that's that. So let's just get into it. All right guys, so this is what the uh, rivets are looking like so far. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this for all four panels. Uh, I'm not gonna bore you with showing you every single uh, rivet as I go along. I think there's 61 so far on this helmet already. So uh, I've already done the four here, uh, just the central one to hold the two bands together uh, and then starting the uh, one, the HA uh, quarter panel here. So. Um, I have hammered them down a little bit so they don't look like they're coming directly out of a factory. Um, and on top of that, uh, I've just made sure that the inside is as flush as it can be. Um, and then that this is actually keeping itself rigid uh, all together as one piece. All right guys, so you can see I've got almost all of the rivets done here. There's a couple along the bottom that I haven't done on the bottom band because I'm going to be attaching uh, the mask and that to it. So I don't really want to have the extra rivets in the way of the mask. Um, but all of these are looking pretty good. I've done some rough sanding here just to get things uh, cleaned up so that most of the uh, marker marks, there's a little bit there that I got to get away again, but uh, most of the marker is all gone. Um, things are starting to, to fit together. And then also all the hammering on this uh, to get the rivets to fit properly uh, kind of deformed the helmet a little bit. So we're going to work on making sure that the helmet is formed, reformed back in the spherical shape that it needs to be or hemispherical. Um, and then we'll get to work on the mask uh, following that. So um, for now, I'm just going to do some hammer work, uh, use that in the dishing stump. Uh, we're going to put that up here and then kind of reform this so that it's nice and shaped properly. We're going to have to do a little more planishing work uh, again as well. So um, that said, let's get going on that. 
All right guys, so this is my dishing stump. So I created this just using an old stump. Uh, I use an angle grinder to grind out a about a five or six inch diameter uh, dish in this. It goes about an inch deep at the deepest point. And then it's just like smoothly blended uh, back to the edges of the dish itself. <clears throat> so the dish uh, on this is a more uh, hollow dish where on the opposite side here, I have a more aggressive dish. Uh, this one's only about three to four inches maybe. Um, and then again, it's probably about an inch, inch and a half deep uh, on this one. But this one's for, for doing more steep uh, dishing uh, where for something like the helmet with the quarter panels that you saw in the first video, we want that dish to be a little more gradual because we want it to be able to form a full uh, hemisphere over the head. Um, for the actual hammering, I'm not gonna be using a very heavy hammer. I'm just using a small eight ounce hammer. Um, you can let the hammer do most of the work for you. You don't have to be taking hard, hard swings at this because it's not very heavy metal. And even if it was a uh, 16 gauge or 14 gauge metal, it's not a hardened steel. So it's going to be a soft enough that it's gonna bend uh, with fairly uh, light uh, hits of the uh, hammer. So you might need to go to a little bit uh, heavier hammer, maybe a 10 ounce or a 12 ounce. Um, you could go to a 16 if you wanted to. Um, but your arm might get a little tired swinging that. So what we're going to do anyways uh, with the hammers, we're just going to be taking this and we're going to use it. Now this is the same form that I used to make the quarter panels. Um, so it's going to follow the same uh, curved pattern. But I'm just going to take the hammer and I'm going to tap lightly and kind of correct any areas like here where we're getting a little bit of a gap between the plate and the uh, headband. Uh, we're just going to tap this down so that that's a little more flush. Uh, we're going to fix any of the uh, asymmetry with the helmet. So if you see here, we're going to try and correct some of the asymmetry here. Let's make sure that we're in frame. Yeah, so some of the, some of the asymmetry here, um, we're kind of, it's hard to tell from the angle I'm at right now, but I, I think this side's probably a little bit lower. Um, and just try and round this out a little bit more so that it has full symmetry. It's looking like a hemisphere, not like a wobbly kind of shape. So that said, I am going to be going for a more uh, antique -y kind of look, let's say like an old Iron Age kind of look. So I'm not going to get rid of this hammer finish uh, here entirely. I want it to smooth out a little bit, but it's going to be, uh, I want it to look old. I want it to look like a period piece. So um, after, after the dishing stamp, we're going to take it to the planishing stake and kind of finish up some of this and get some of the things like the band. Uh, you can see there's gaps in the band and kind of deformations after uh, putting the rivets in. So we'll correct some of that and I'm just going to stop talking and get to it and you guys can see uh, how it goes.
So you can see that's getting kind of a little bit of a curve going here. And these are kind of curved in a little bit. Like that's just from doing these uh, lines here. We're gonna hammer this in a little bit. I'm gonna use some uh, foam uh, just to give some recess so that I can push down into the foam a little bit. Um, but I'm gonna finish this last line and then we'll get to the, uh, uh, the foam part where we're gonna hammer out a little more of a hammer pattern on this too. So my lines on the front didn't really match up that well. I'm just gonna draw, I'll use the marker and draw over that. Um, but we're gonna get hammering that. That's looking pretty good. Yeah, overall that's looking pretty good. You don't need to be very uh, precise with this right away. Uh, you just wanna make sure that you're getting that, uh, the lines in here and getting the general form kind of going. You're gonna be able to clean it all up as we go along. So we'll move on to that as the next part. All right, so I've gone ahead and sanded off a lot of the uh, marker, um, just because the marker, uh, when I have too much of it there, I can't actually see the line work that I'm working with. So I'm gonna take this, put this on this uh, chisel here, it's just a brick chisel actually, um, and I'm gonna lightly tap this to define these lines a little bit more. So I'm gonna take these along, do this kind of work, just light taps, not the, not the big hammer, just a little eight ounce one. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna go and define these lines a little more. Uh, we're gonna kind of feather them out here so that they go from sharp into smooth right onto the face here. And then we're gonna get that brass piece on here, but first we're gonna see if it's fitting around the helmet. Uh, all right, so this is actually fitting pretty nicely already. Uh, we gotta do a little more rounding work here to get it to go around the headband, uh, but it is fitting pretty well. Now we're gonna to have to cut some of this headband out here uh, where the eyes are. And then obviously round this piece uh, whenever we get it on here as well. Um, but in general, this is actually fitting pretty well. We gotta make sure that the rivet holes here where the eyes are, where the ocular holes are, uh, are gonna line up so that they're actually catching the band. We're gonna cut a little bit of this nasal piece off here at the bottom and that'll trim it up and we'll put a rivet at the bottom here as well. Actually, we might not have to. Well, we'll see how it, how it goes as I get there. Um, but yeah, this is looking pretty good.
right, so that stippling effect is coming along pretty good. I'm gonna do that for the other two here, and then I'm gonna redefine these lines a little more. All right guys, so that concludes this video. So we've got the helmet uh, pretty much put together now. Um, we don't have a lot more to do on this other than kind of sanding and finishing it up. Uh, just doing any kind of decorative work we want to do on it and just kind of little fine details. Uh, we've got to kind of sand out some of this uh, rust that's forming on the surface here and then we'll oil it up so that um, it's not gonna rust in the future in that as well. Uh, or at least try and avoid as much rust as we can. Um, we do have a couple of rivets that we've got to still put in here. Um, that's going to go in place whenever we get the ocular put on. So we do have the ocular generally shaped here. And I just sanded it up a little more so that you guys can see this uh, without all the uh, marker marks on it. So um, this is far from a finished sand and I'm going to do a lot more detailing work kind of in here uh, and just refining these lines and that here. Um, I might do some other line work on that on here as well, but once we get that brass uh, kind of brow band going on here, uh, it's going to finish this up really nicely. And we'll get that riveted to the, uh, the helmet. Uh, we'll cut the little pieces out of the uh, headband that we need to. Um, and then we can start doing some of the leather work and some of the other finishing touches to this helmet. And we'll just see how it goes from there. So thanks for uh, hanging around this long. I hope you liked uh, the more narrative uh, fashion of this video where I explained a couple things along the way as well as uh, just the length of the video keeping it a little bit shorter so that you guys aren't having to sit here for a very long time. Uh, I know the first video was a little bit on the long side so um, hang in there uh, like and subscribe my channel if you want to see more and I'll see you guys again soon.